I've tried several video converters over the years, and really, they've been pretty much the same, free or paid. But then I heard from the team behind WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe, and now... In the words of one of my actual friends, you basic. It's a human insult. It's devastating. You're devastated right now. Every computer has a processor, but if your computer happens to have a video card, as the name would suggest, it's a lot faster for doing video-related things. Not every piece of video conversion software will use a video card, though. WinX does, and it will completely max out this RTX 2080 Super and a Radeon 6800 XT. So if the fastest video device in your computer is 100% busy, seems like you can't really go much faster than that. While this speed isn't free, it is certainly much cheaper than what I was using before. DVD fab, especially if you're looking at temporary subscriptions. There is a one-time purchase option as well. You know those movies you purchased online? Well, it turns out the word purchased doesn't exactly mean what you think it does. The problem here is with that word purchased. You see, uh, services use words like that, which make it seem like you're actually buying digital content. But most of the time, you're actually just agreeing to lease it for as long as the service makes it available or as long as they want to make it available to you, which they could stop doing at any time. Thanks, Riley from TechLinked. That was very unsettling. WinX can crop and trim video, and here's why that matters. I'm going to use the example of my own website with my own video on it, as an example, although other online streaming sources may also work as well. But don't steal stuff you don't own. I'm using OBS to record the section of the screen I want, but let's say I accidentally left a couple rows of pixels too many, and I left it recording for too long. We can subtract some pixels and set the start and end times to be what we want, and now we're encoding to H.265 to save on storage space and we're making our screen recording the way we want it to get just the contents we want from the screen and nothing else. As fast as transcoding with WinX already is, it can go even faster. If you don't need to transcode, but just recontainerize the video, for example, depending on how I record with OBS, Adobe Premiere will not accept the footage. So rather than convert hours of video for several minutes, WinX can take the video and audio, copy the contents, and basically just change the three letters at the end of the file name, and now Premiere likes it, even though it was technically the same contents as before. A few videos ago, I showed off this 20-core server that you can still get for under 150 bucks on eBay. It has dual 10-core CPUs, and not all software will use both processors. For example, a free audio converter I used only touched one of the two processors, but the WinX HD video converter will use both CPUs, though technically one CPU was maxed out and the other was used about 30%. There's also an AMD Radeon 6400 in there, but the Radeon chip technically doesn't have hardware encoding capabilities, so it didn't work with WinX, but it won't work with any accelerated software either. Without hardware acceleration, though, video conversion is really heavy work. And that decade-old server managed 8 FPS. If I turn off the high-quality engine, the FPS jumps up to 13. But throwing an RTX 2080 Super into the mix with an AMD 3900X, it pulled about 90 watts on the video card and encoded the same video at 80 FPS, 10 times faster to use a video card and also a not 10 year old server. The Radeon 6800 XT managed 106 FPS and only pulled 35 watts. Both video cards and task managers show 98 to 100% encoder usage. But the encoder is not necessarily the same part of the graphics card that you game on. And since the CPU is only 14% busy, we should be able to game at the same time. We drop from just 47 to 46 FPS in control, just 1 FPS. I can live with that. The encoding, though, did slow down to about 60% of what it was normal. So WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe, it's very affordable compared to other options that I've tried in the past, 
it goes as fast as your video card will handle. If you have a multi-CPU system, it will use some of the other CPU cores. And if it doesn't have to transcode, it can just copy the contents and recontainerize it. It's hard to make a video converter sound like a super appealing product unless you're really into it. But as far as video converters go, it's pretty good. And unlike some other software, you can actually have the same source multiple times in the list and encode to multiple outputs, although not simultaneously. Thanks for sending me a copy of the software to review, and thanks for watching this review all the way to the end. You can review the review in the comments down below. In the next video, I ran out of storage space. 27 terabytes wasn't enough. So now we're going to up it to 36, and hopefully that will last us at least a year. Only time will tell.